Hi guys. All right. Today's video, I feel like it's been a while since I've like sat down and done a proper Amazon video. So we're going to do the full works today. I'm going to show you like a haul of things that I've already gotten in. Plus I'm going to share with you things that I've ordered, but haven't come in yet. And then I'm going to share with you guys things that are on my wish list. So you can kind of take this list and look at it as like a gift guide to see if there's anything that kind of strikes your fancy for yourself or someone you know but that's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna show you guys what barks up my tree from amazon and there's a lot to this list so let's jump in all right so I'm going to share with you guys a couple of things from a junk journaling perspective. Not this entire video is going to be junk journaling, but let's go ahead and start off with some of those things. Now I've already unpackaged it, but it is my Cropodial. I, you, did you watch me on the live, me trying to use this? It was a mess, but this thing is a very cool tool and I will say that as much junk journaling as I watch and videos like that, I would say to really step up your junk journal game, I would definitely have a crocodile. Then you're going to need these. You're going to need grommets, essentially. So this is what the crocodile does. It adds these little like metal pieces to your like, you know, you punch a hole and then you add these. It's kind of like reinforcements, but in a metal way. So it just kind of makes, you can add tassels and all kinds of things once you add like those little holes. So both of these I got from Amazon. Then I also picked up this little scrapbooking paper set. So much of this. Oh my god, like you could just dive down into an abyss on Amazon. But there's just so much to discover with like crafting paper. And this particular st stamp stampery, 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 I don't really know. Stamperia, stamperia, yeah. I'm probably not saying it right, but there's a lot to this collection and I want them all to be honest. So I'm just starting off. I'm going to get one here, one there, and eventually I'm sure I'll complete the collection. But the paper pack to this is absolutely stunning. So this does have more of a spring vibe. I want to do a very much vintage like junk journal. I'm going to show you guys a book. So I bought this off of Amazon. This is rule number one, you can't date the coach's daughter. Now I do have a book review out on this. I was very excited about this book. I Don't you just love those Amazon purchases where you are just so excited for it to come? This book, I was pro very excited. Like one of the things that I was just so excited to get and it kind of felt it was good, but it fell a little little flat for me, but definitely read it because it could definitely be up your alley. So this would be a great stocking stuffer or a gift under the tree. There's that. And then speaking of books, I did cave and got myself a Kindle. I'm a real book girl. I always will be. And the reason why I got one, I caved. I caved because of these dang books right here the blue alien books now these in particular are from walmart but you can get them from amazon and they are the barbarian books i couldn't be more obsessed anyways i will link these down below though from amazon but the reason why it prompted me to get the kindles because some of these i couldn't find on paperback and i had to read them that bad i'm gonna throw up some pictures of these things just because they're kind of hard to like pick up and show you um, but I finally got some car seat covers for my expedition. Loki, my dog, my big mastiff dog, um, he loves car rides. Like, it is his passion in life, and he's a whole vibe in the car, by the way. Like, we have such a good time. I literally take him for rides every day. Kind of like what you would take your dog to the dog park. No, I take Loki for a car ride. That's his equivalent. Um, so, but I was having to like put sheets over my leather bucket seats and, but they were just like always kind of coming off and then it just made me like nervous that his little nails were digging holes into my leather. So I finally got some car, proper car seat covers and they are amazing. They're worth it. All right. The next thing are linen sheets. 
but linen sheets are really good and what i've learned is that they get buttery uh, even more buttery after every wash so they just like it takes breaking into now i'm going to show you guys some of my favorite office finds so the first one i can pick up and show you and they are the cutest little coasters like look how darling they are they just have this like boho look to them and I love how neutral it is. It goes very well with my office. So when I was redoing this whole space, I knew I wanted, like, you're seeing the color palette. I also got this white pad that my, um, my keyboard sits on top of and my mouse sits on top of it too, which eliminates me having to have a mouse pad. So that's been a really nice feature. Um, it's just a nice big pad and it keeps you know, my vintage oak desk from getting any scratches. So I really like that. Um, I also got this little glass top. I don't even know what you call it, but I keep my monitor on top of it. I think it's really cute and really pretty, um, like a glass razor or riser or whatever. And then because I'm doing like a whole white thing, I also had to get a white calculator. I love calculators. Is anyone else like that like or is it just me like I actually use this thing on the daily actually like I will plug in numbers all the time and it's such a cute calculator I love how big the numbers are and it's white so it just kind of has a like super chic look to it and it just goes with my office vibe pretty random but another item I'm very excited about is parchment paper I'm just I'm on a journey <laughs> I'm on a journey of replacing things that are just bad, you know, with better options and aluminum foil. I'm learning to kind of get rid of that. I'm sure I'll use it here and there, but I've learned that parchment paper and the unbleached kind is the way to go. Like it probably doesn't get any better than this it is a non-stick so that's really great this next item i just ordered and i haven't used it yet but i'm very excited about this also i would classify as kind of like health wellness this is a castor oil pack um i think this is also very like um what's the word i don't know what, what word i'm looking for but it's like an old method i think that's been around for a while but now they make these packs like these actual things that's so nice and they get all these ties i think you put it on one side i'm not sure which side it goes on and you actually put your castor oil on the pad and then you wrap it around yourself and you go to sleep there's so many benefits to this the one that struck out to me the most honestly was that it's very good for like your digestive system and it helps it to like move and process and i think that's where i have my own person yeah it regulates bowel movements deeper sleep and less stress are some of the key like benefits to this thing i think it was pretty inexpensive it's washable so i've been trying to improve my hair and let me just show you guys all the products that i kind of got into with this first one is a bamboo brush and so i had to get another one this is so good to stimulate hair growth you just want to brush it um yeah i just kind of like don't brush my hair i brush my scalp if that makes sense so you want to make sure that you don't have any tangles when you're doing this um but i'll just sit and like brush my scalp for like five or ten minutes at night while i'm sitting in bed and watching my tv show golden girls frazier y'all know the drill so so good it just it feels good too it feels like a really nice massage and you can kind of like feel the tingling so just to like stimulate hair growth i also got one of these which is very similar but it's like in the shower when i have you know shampoo in my hair and it's just like a scalp massage this is very key to repairing your hair it's really starts with your scalp it's scalp health that will essentially be what i've learned is the key to growing your hair more and and all of that then i have some oils so i have these two um so rosemary is another big one this is what's going to really help with your hair growth and then i will do like a jojoba oil or an argan oil as well which i haven't used this one yet but you can do an argan oil 
Um, but this is the one I've been using. Uh, this is another one from Amazon. I will link it down below. Throw my hair into a sleeping cap. That's another thing I've been trying to get used to. I'm not used to that. I'll throw my hair up into like a sleeping silk um, cap and try to sleep that way, especially because I have textured curly frizzy hair. It really helps. And especially if you're not sleeping on a silk pillowcase, which I would highly recommend. Um, it's just gonna be better for your skin when I switch out my pillowcases and it's not my silk ones I will wake up with wrinkles all over my face and Yeah, so you definitely want to try for silk um, And then my hair will be in a sleeping cap and the inside is made with silk So it keeps my hair from getting damaged and pulled while I'm sleeping. Let's get into some perfumes. So I only have two to share with you guys today. This is my holy grail. It's actually empty and I haven't bought it yet. I'm probably gonna ask for this for Christmas. Um, and it's just, I think this is my signature scent. I've been on this hunt for my signature scent, but it's this guy. This is the Brazilian Crush Sol de Janeiro in the Pistachio and Salted Caramel. I just, I love anything from their line. So I have, this is the um, the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I think this is what they're like mostly known for. And I actually use this on my hands. I, don't, I also have their Bum Bum Body Scrub and I couldn't be more obsessed with their packaging. It's just super adorable. And I have their lip butter. This has been in so many Amazon hauls, like some of you just already know about this, but it is an $18 lip balm, the most expensive lip balm, but I just, I love it. Um, I just love the smell of it. It just reminds me of the tropics. Um, and then they have this one. This is the newest one. It might be sold out because I think it's going viral right now. And this is the pink one, the Elasti Cream. It is a dupe to the Baccarat Rouge 54, I think, perfume. Which if you know anything about that, that's like a 200 something dollar perfume. And this smells apparently exactly like it. I wouldn't know, I don't have that perfume. But I, it smells amazing. I can tell you that they also have it in the mist in the pink mist and i tried to get my hands on that but that was completely sold out and you knew this item was going to be in this haul i have been on this little blush stick like look how much i've used and th there's still there's still so much left in this i mean it started from the ground up okay this balm has been my favorite blush of all time the smell of this is unlike anything like if i could get this scent and a mist I'd be done but it's a balm so I use it as a blush and I use it as a lipstick as well and I first saw Hailey Bieber use this in a makeup tutorial on her TikTok and that's what got me to buy it and I've put a lot of you on this I hope you love it as much as I do I have multiple colors but I will link this pinky one down below and then this perfume is also one of my favorites this fresh cream by philosophy and it's just a really nice it doesn't have any sort of floral note to it. I'm not a floral person. Um, they just unfortunately give me headaches. I wish I could love a floral perfume, but I just can't. I have to be more uh, fruity. This next item, I actually got it in two colors, black and white, the black one I'm currently washing. So I'll show you guys the white one and it comes as a set, comes as the shorts and this sweater top with kind of like a mock turtleneck. <sighs> You need this in your life. I don't know how else to, to to put it to you, but you need this in your life. And it is just the softest, most beautiful set I've ever seen. I love the way that the shorts fit me. And what I love about it is that it's a sweater and shorts set instead of sweaters and pants. I feel like finding a set like this is kind of rare and in this beautiful like cable knit quality. I wish you could reach out through the screen and touch this because it's pure softness. They have more colors to choose from, I think a total of five. And as a matter of fact, it was the pink one that brought me to this listing on Amazon. But in the end, when I saw they had white and black, I was like, no, gotta go for the white and black first. And I'm obsessed. Now I'll say this too, you can, 
treat these as PJs, but I think they'll be also great to like go out in. Like I could see myself wearing this white set and like heading off to the beach. I, you know, living here in Florida, like this would just be such a nice winter Florida fit for the beach. It's just, oh my God, absolutely obsessed. And the black one I've actually worn out in public. All right, so now let's get into some of the things that either I don't have quite yet, they've been ordered, I just don't have them yet to share with you guys, or they're just like things on my wish list. So the first one being actually a very beautiful vintage glass jewelry box. This is why I love Amazon. I feel like you just find just about anything. Um, I do not like my current jewelry setup situation. I just feel like it's very messy and it just it worked great in the beginning but now i've kind of moved on and i really like this little glass jewelry box plus i feel like it's going to kind of force me to go through what i have and kind of like reorganize get rid of pieces i'm no longer wearing so that will actually be good for me to like declutter um this box in particular though won't hold my um, necklaces so i'm gonna try to find something that kind of has like the same look to match but I am waiting for the jewelry box the second thing is actually a classic tennis bracelet I mean this was something that I think growing up like I always knew about it I don't know why I knew about it because I was like in middle school and high school in the 90s but I feel like a tennis bracelet was just like a woman's staple to have and I don't know that I hear about them that much and I actually found one on Amazon. It's very pretty, very inexpensive. And so I was like, you know what? Let me just like fulfill my 90s dream here. So got myself a tennis bracelet also for my birthday. Um, okay, the next two things are books. Now I really wish I had a lot more books to kind of list off. I will link my book um, Amazon storefront down below you can see all the books that I have ordered from Amazon but the newest members that I'm waiting for are actually like a billionaire series so I'm very excited about this um, it's by Lauren Asher and I think there's three to the series and I think the third one is currently a pre-order it's about to be released so I got the first two the first one is the fine print and then the second one is terms and conditions. So I'm super excited. I'm very much into historical romance. And so the fact that I've been kind of like venturing out and finding new books, I don't know, it's been very exciting for me. So I'm looking forward to these. Okay, the next one is actually a ring. I was just kind of like looking for anything that was black. I love wearing black. It's just my favorite color to wear. And I found a really beautiful, simple, thin ring. So thought it was inexpensive. So I'm waiting on that. I'm also waiting on a tote. I love a good tote, especially since I do a lot of junk journaling, planning, stuff like that. I feel like it's a really great way to like throw my key items in. And I can either one, move around the house with it. I can either go outside in my patio and journal, or I can go to the beach and do that. It's just a good, a tote is like always good to have on hand. This next item I'm also very excited about for multiple reasons. One, it's black, but it's a, a coffee mug. It's an insulated coffee mug with a lid. So this is really great because it's just one of those good like travel mugs, whether or not like you want to take your coffee to go like, you know, making your way to work or just whatever it is that you're doing. For me personally, because I don't drive into an office, I have always wanted to have a mug that I can take with me when I like take Loki for a walk and things like that. Whether or not I fill it up with coffee or hot chocolate, I've just always wanted a mug that has a lid and it's insulated to keep my beverage warm. So I thought the price of this one was gorgeous and it's black, so I'm really excited about that. Um, so I got this mug for Christmas for myself. I also bought a mug warmer. I don't know why I don't already own one of these things. Now, they make mugs and a warmer together. So like the special mug that goes with the warmer. But I did just buy the portable Mr. Coffee brand mug warmer for coffee and tea. And you should just be able to set any type of ceramic, you know, normal mug down. I wouldn't say plastic would be a good idea. Um, on these so but it was about 14 dollars 
and I'm gonna put it in my office because that's something that I've noticed. I'll kind of like make coffee, I'll set it down and I'll get to working. And then when I reach for my coffee again, it's cold and it goes cold pretty quick. So I am very excited about this little mug warmer situation. Okay, next up is another piece of jewelry. It is black again. I was just like, whenever I play around on Amazon, honestly, like I'll just play around with keywords, but I typed in like black necklace and I wanted to see what came up because um, there's a brand that I follow on Instagram called Love Stylize, I think is what they're called. And I love seeing, and she's an actual like jewelry shop. I think I've ordered some pieces from her. Um, but what I also love to look is I'll look and see how she posts her Instagram photos of like the layering of her necklaces and she'll do like color combos and it's gorgeous. So I like to like go on Amazon and kind of like search for certain colors and see what necklaces I think I could like layer together. So I found this cute little heart necklace. It's $14. Um, it's kind of labeled as preppy, um, also very has a very casual look to it because it's not like rhinestone -y or anything and it was just yeah $14 super cute but I do plan on like layering it with more little necklaces okay the next item I think would be a great stocking stuffer gift idea I found this variety of pack of four handmade bath bombs um, and this one in particular though I picked because it has a honey like honey milk bath bomb in it. And that's what I've been looking for. Anything with like honey and milk. Now with this particular seller, they sell a four pack of just the honey bath bombs. But I decided to go with a variety pack because it has like mango and a couple of other options in there that just like sounded really good to me. So, and I feel like I haven't taken a good proper bath. I love showers. So, I feel like if I have these little bath bombs, it'll prompt me to relax and take a relaxing bath more often, which also prompted me to this next item, which is a foaming milk bath. So this item is, of course, I'm throwing up photos for you guys, but this is a foaming milk bath with smoothing fresh Canadian goat milk, vitamin A, B3, potassium, zinc, selenium, shea butter, it just looks really good. The reviews looked really good on this and I did pick the Shea Butter, although I'm kind of wishing I went with the original. The next jewelry item is actually a pair of Huggies. If you guys don't know what Huggies are, they're just like little hoops, but they're very tiny and they kind of, they hug your earlobe. So kind of imagine this without the little dropper. It's just very tiny and they've been kind of like all the rage and trend the last couple of years. And I decided to get me a pair. As a matter of fact, I think the pair that I originally found were butterflies. And I might actually end up getting the butterflies too. But when I got to this particular listing, then they have a lot more options. And as I scrolled through, I found these little heart huggies or star huggies. This next item I've ordered and I don't think anyone's going to be surprised, especially since I feel like... It seems like I'm a collector, but I really just love coloring. Um, and that is Nice Little Town. It is my favorite adult coloring book that's out there. And the theme are these little mice, but they're adult coloring books. Now this one is Nice Little Town 12, which has a circus theme. So like each release that she does has a theme. And I actually think I'm missing some. I think I have one through eight. I don't know if I have nine, 10 or 11. All right, now these are the items that are in my cart kind of like as a wish list, but a red light therapy device. I don't even know honestly how I stumbled upon this, but it took me back to last year when I was living in Texas. I actually was going to go to like a red light therapy spa thing. Um, and so I found a red light therapy device it's pretty expensive it's like 144 dollars but there's so many benefits and it really like helps depression as well um the amount of people that talk about like the mood boost that they get with this i think is just like well, probably worth every penny um somebody i think mentioned that she does it like it might have been tiktok 
where I saw this. It was either a YouTube video or a TikTok or even maybe like an Instagram reel. I don't know at this point, all these apps are like running in together, but she, she like exposed herself to the red light for 10 minutes like went every morning when she woke up. I was going back to jewelry. I saw this really cute like butterfly necklace. Again, I was thinking back to, I think it might've been Love Style Eyes and I saw a post where she had like three different necklaces and so I was kind of trying to find something very similar to how she had styled it and she I think she had she had a butterfly which looked like this one that I put up then a pearl string which I think I already have a set of pearls and then she had like a pink little heart I also have a Lauren by Ralph Lauren velvet long black robe unfortunately it's currently unavailable but i would love to kind of i think it's time my robes are so done with holes everywhere like i don't know why robes don't hold up for very long i mean mine were super cheap but i think it's time to upgrade and then pc games i love computer games it's always a great thing to like search for on amazon and also keep in mind that some of them are digital download and they won't actually come with a physical dvd rom so i have a bunch of them like for example here and like you can also buy these at walmart you can buy them on amazon and get the physical dvd rom just make sure when you're looking at the the listing that you kind of know what you're getting so this one that i want to get is a hidden object game and it's tales from the beyond three next up is going to be a planner um so i just love trying to find anything new in terms of like journals and things like that this is the clever fox planner pro and it's dated so it's january 2023 all the way to january 2024 it's 38 dollars it's a weekly and monthly layout and what i found about clever fox so as i like dove into this they also make a ton of different types of planners that have like specific things you can do with it like budget meal prep now i know a lot of you guys actually asked me for like junk journaling supplies which i think i shared in the first half of this video um, but I do plan on doing like a fully dedicated Amazon haul for junk journal finds. Um, so that's hopefully going to be like the next part or I'm going to do like another part two to like a gift guide. So definitely know which one you would prefer for it to be next. Do you want it to just be like an overall Amazon gift guide? Um, like stocking stuff for ideas, stuff like that. Or do you want it to be centralized junk journals only? So anyways that is going to be it for today's video i will link absolutely everything down below and thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you next time bye